back. Do 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 do, take it back. Let's bring us to Wilder. You also promote Wilder. Are these guys on a collision side by side? Not right this second. I mean, you know, but like, like I, you know, Wilder still wants a unification fight and the biggest money fight possible. But you know what? King Kong's an excellent fighter. Man. Ortiz is, he's one of the best punchers in, in boxing. He's, he's a terrific heavyweight. Um, he, he wins a couple of fights and, and he gets to the to the, that, that same kind of level. And uh, and you know, anything's possible going in the future. We but a, but, we but a, right, right we now, a month for Wilder. Do you know when he's coming back? I don't. Um, I have not. I, I don't, I've not had the mm -hmm. date set yet. Mm -hmm. uh, will, will it be in Brooklyn or Nassau? Uh, Brooklyn is certainly always uh, a possibility. Mm -hmm. It's some place I know Deontay would like to fight. And you also did mention Ms. is going to be going for what? Fifth her fifth, her fifth yeah. title and her fifth weight class. And uh, are we getting a, a name for her to fight, or have the names not really been well, the, 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 come to the fore within the sport within America? Or where's that? Well, no, the name that yeah. she'd be fighting would be there's a, a woman from Argentina. Okay. There's that, that that has not wanted to fight Amanda. Okay. It's it's going to perspit as a technicality. Okay. We have a multi-time world champion from the Dominican Republic waiting to step in immediately, and that and then we expect to announce the fight uh, by the beginning of next week. But um, either way, uh, either fighter is a sensational oppo you know, opponent. Um, b both of them uh, would be for the 18 pound championship. She's this, it, it, running if, on Showtime. Yes? If the woman that holds the title from Argentina yeah. elects not to fight. Um, uh, Amanda, then uh, the other woman will, with the approval of Bo, step in, and she's a multi-time world champion herself from the Dominican Republic. And either way, that gets shown on Showtime. This uh, well, Stephen will be up here to to announce things. I'm gonna let him do that. All right, thanks, Mark. Okay. Yeah, how do you Emilio, yes, news. King Kong is on this side. He's still with Matchroom Boxing. I know, you know, there's a difference. King Kong is no longer with Matchroom Boxing. His, yeah. Uh, he had a two-fight agreement with Matchroom Boxing, according to Eddie Hearn, and that agreement's now over. So, will he be officially one of your fighters? Signed to the no, he, right now he's, he's 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 managed by Al Heyman. I'm I'm happy to promote this fight, but uh, you know, right now he he has no uh, you know promotional contract right now with anyone. He just signed with Al yesterday. He's King Kong. I want to know from this stable who's the Godzilla fan. What can we expect for that, you know, future fight? Who's the big heavyweight name? I don't, I mean, he's got it. Look, he just, he's getting in the ring it. on uh, April 22nd on short notice. He's getting in with a very tough guy in Derek Rossi. Um, he's going to get an opportunity to be showcased in that fight if he can look as good as, as people believe he can. And, um, and then I think that we go from there. I think the idea is to get him into a big fight and get him in front of a lot of people in a big, meaningful fight. Not an appearance fight, in a big, meaningful fight. I think that's the desire. And then he goes from there. The bigger, the, the bigger his opposition is in the, in, in the next short period of time, the better the opportunities he's going to get. And I know that's what he wants. I just spoke to, to Luis and his team. They want a big opportunity, and that's why they signed with Al Heyman. I want to talk about some current events with you. I saw you and Dan going back and forth on Twitter about the Canelo Triple G stuff, and you were in favor of Jacobs winning Triple G. And we touched on. Not that. in favor of Jacobs. I just thought he won the fight. Yeah, you thought he won the fight. But yeah. I thought it was close. And I'm not, I, I, you didn't hear me screaming robbery, robbery. I never said it was a robbery. If it's a fight that I have a point or two either way, then somebody else is reasonable to have it a point or two the other way. Anyone who saw a wide fight or thought Triple G kicked his ass is a moron. If, it was, if the fight was on Showtime, would we have seen a different decision? I don't know. Maybe you would have seen a different decision in Brooklyn. I don't know. But but it was, you know what? You can't complain. I mean, it, it was a very, very good fight. Fought at the highest skill level between two very good fighters, and it was close. Okay? I scored it for Danny. A lot of people did. A lot of other people scored it for tri Triple G. I'm not an idiot. I'm not calling them idiots. Keith Thurman recently called out Manny Pacquiao. Is that a realistic fight that can be made? Called ask Bob Arum. I mean, I just, I, I, ask Bob Arum, man. I think Keith Thurman would take anybody. Keith, Keith Thurman would take King Kong over here. I mean, you know, you know. But I, I'd love to see Keith Thurman beat Manny Pacquiao. Well, I, I gave it away. <laughs> Sorry. I know you probably already answered these questions already, but with Luis Ortiz, this fight with him, this is like a, you know, it's a stay busy fight. You know, it's part of the business. It, 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 well, he just fought a guy that, frankly, was not Derek Rossi. Mm -hmm. I mean, Derek Rossi's better than the last opponent, Lewis. Lu uh, David Allen. Fought. And and 
What, yeah. Excuse me? Uh, his name was David Allen, no. the uh, UK fighter. Okay, well, like I said, Derek mm -hmm. Rossi's a tougher guy, I believe. I think this is a... Uh, um, it's a fight to showcase Luis, but he's not in there with a stooge. You can't look past the Derek Rossi. Derek Rossi's given hell. I thought less than a year ago Derek Rossi beats Devere. Knocked him down. I thought he won the fight. And now this so you know, I mean, Derek Rossi's a tough, tough guy. He was in the gym, he was ready to fight. You know, I know he's ready to fight. But but yeah, I mean this is an opportunity where where King Kong is supposed to look like King Kong. I mean he's being you know, it's really more of a showcase opportunity to get back in the ring. Get back in the ring so you're ready to fight something bigger as soon as you possibly can. So my understanding is um Kubret Pulev is the IBF mandatory. He's the next guy in line for the winner of Joshua Klitschko. And then Luis Ortiz is the next guy after that. So I'm guessing that maybe um, Luis Ortiz is going to fight this fight. Then maybe um, his next fight is going to be what he said, um, according to the media yesterday, is that he wants his next fight sometime in the summer to be a known or ranked name. I think that that's, of course, the idea. And I look, I just spoke to him, him and his people for a minute or two. He wants the biggest chances as quickly as they come. He's 38 years old. Yeah. So it's the biggest name you can get or the highest ranking you can get. That's what he wants after... This fight, if Derek Rossi, you know, doesn't present more of a problem than he thinks. So then, going forward, um, Vladimir Klitschko, uh, the winner of Vladimir Klitschko versus Joshua, like realistically, as a I promoter, want that, I want Deontay Wilder fight that fight. Oh, you want the Wilder fight? I want Wilder fight the winner of that so, fight. So, so what about Wilder? Mm, so, okay, so well, Wilder, I want Wilder fight the winner versus Parker Joseph Parker and, and uh, Huey Fury. I want to fight. I, I want, Wilder wants unification. I want that for Wilder. So I tell you what, as a promoter, which which fight would you want for Wilder? Would you want? The uh, winner of Huey Fury for the WBO, or would you want to go after that Klitschko uh, Joshua winner? Like I'm telling you, if you had to pick one, you know, if you at your desk, you're like, damn, you I know what? Get one of these fights. First of all, I'm not the heavyweight champion. Mm -hmm. He's the boss. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to get him the biggest fight he wants. Okay. Also, you know, there's different possibilities. If Klitschko were to win the fight, and you can get Klitschko, you grab that as soon as you can get it. You know, though I think if Klitschko wins the fight, you may see a third fight with Joshua. I don't know. You know, I mean, obviously the Parker, Yui Fury winner is very attractive. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a unification. You know, Deontay's told me a million times. He keeps telling me over and over and over again. He wants to unify. That's what he wants. Mm -hmm. He's the heavyweight champion. He's the boss. All right. So, as far as Luis Ortiz is concerned, Luis, Luis Ortiz, you know, Luis Ortiz can punch like a mule. He can fight his ass off. He needs. He needs attention. That's why he's jumping in the ring here in this kind of situation. He's smart enough to know, and his people knows, he needs attention. Get back in the ring in the United States, in Brooklyn, at the Barclays Center. Get back in the ring. People know the name Derek Rossi. I mean, you know, get in the ring and get, and get a good win. And then be ready to fight as quickly as you can in the biggest fight that's put in front of you. You know? He's got to get his name bigger and get his name up there, be more active, be more present, be seen, so he can get the big money opportunities. That's why he signed with Al Heyman. That's why he's on the show. This should be on Showtime, Lou? What? This fight will be on Showtime, Lou? Lou, 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 Lou. Or, the Showtime Espinosa, or, or the Showtime Extreme card headline. Steven Espinosa will be up there. I'll, I'll let him talk about it. All right. All right. But, um, I'm going to go eat. But I, I think it's not a bad bet to guess that it will be extreme. But, right. but, but Steven will talk about it.